Hello, welcome to another big conversation. This time, the topic has been requested by you, the people, the Spurs fans. Son or Lamella? Now, we were asked to debate this. Neither of us could commit to either one enough nah. to be able to debate this. Plus, there's no one here today to mediate for it, so they can't give out the scores. The and reason. that would be unfair. You always need a referee. <laughs> um, so we just thought we'd have a general conversation of what we think of who should be, I guess, who should start or who yeah. should be in the squad higher up. Son or or Lamella, I'm going to go for you for your initial thoughts, just on instinct, who are you going for and why? Son. Okay. Um, straight out off out. the back, Son. Straight away. Um, I, I, I feel like he's more direct. He gives away less fouls. He matches Lamella for work ethic. He's got a better finish. Um, and That's a lot of points straight, straight away. Yeah, I, yeah. I would have to go with Son. So you, you think he matches him for work, right? Yeah, I do. I but do. do you think he's as, as good defensively as no, Lamella? No, I would say Lamella's better defensively. He really, you know, busts the gut to get back. Yeah. Make sure he provides cover for the fullback. Um, whether it's Walker or Trippier, he's always running back there and providing cover. Yeah. But, I, I mean, Son is a workhorse. He is a workhorse. He does try very hard. hard. Um, I would argue that Son is a more attacking player than Lamella. Yeah. Um, and do we need another more attacking player? Lamella has almost developed into this player who, while he can like mix between sort of the left and the right and kind of the cam yeah. position, is more sort of like started going further back and just pulling strings. He seems to get the assist before the assist quite often. Yeah. It's the pass before the pass, which Son isn't there for. Son is more like he'll try and finish it. He'll be or up he'll... there already trying to. Exactly. Yeah. I think they're, they're kind of different kind of players than we think. But because their starting position is, you know, right mid, yeah. left mid, Center attack in mid. We think they're the same. But Lamella's changed his game recently. He okay. has. And he I has. think he's had to, to get in the team. He has. And uh, I mean, he's obviously got a relationship with Poch, both Argentinian. Yeah. Uh, Poch has placed a lot of faith in him. He listens to the instructions. When he came off against Colchester, didn't make a fuss. He came off quite early. I think it was like the 60th minute. Yeah, and he was playing well. Just came off, didn't make a fuss. He, he has a bond with him. He'd got an assist. Yeah, he has. But I, I mean, all right, let's look at some quick stats. I mean, for instance. Okay. The whole of the season, obviously, they've played different amounts of games, but Son, five goals, all competitions. Lamella, eight goals. That's a lot more games. Lamella's played a lot more games, and three of the goals came in the Europa in one game, a hat-trick. Yeah. Well, I mean, a hat-trick's a hat-trick. Um, so, uh, this is a key thing for me, because I think a lot of people okay. have picked up on the fact that Lamella gives away a lot of unnecessary fouls. That's true. And uh, Lamella's picked up six yellow cards this season, yeah. where Son has picked up none. And I think that says a lot about their play. I mean, some people like aggressive players, players that really stick a foot in and get in there. But I'm more frustrated about the amount of fouls Lamella gives away. And I, think, I thought it was back. more than six, to be honest. Yeah, that surprised me. He tracks back a lot, which is good. And he's in people's face and he's sort of annoying to have to deal with. Yeah. But he does give away a lot of fouls in stupid positions. Yeah. He like, gives away a lot of free kicks to tall teams. I mean, and it, can, and it just res- in. Exactly. It results in dangerous set pieces or, or chances on goal, which you don't want. And sometimes it comes in a, in a period of the game where you really don't need it. You might yeah. be one nil up and they could equalise or even just nil nil and they could nick the goal. And he's been giving away some of those key fouls a lot this season. How about the fact that Lamella is a very important part of Tottenham's build-up play this year, whereas Son is more, as we said before, kind of there to almost finish it. Yeah, he doesn't really contribute. He's not really the catalyst for that move, which Lamella has been. So yeah. that's, a, that's a very good point. I think Lamella really does get involved. Um, he's, he's willing to win the ball back and then kind of set it off that kind of move, spark that kind of pass, which goes to a pass and then results in a goal. Yeah. Son doesn't really do that because he doesn't really get back that much. And when he does, I mean, some of the, I mean, the goal that Arsenal scored at the Emirates, where Ertzel whipped it for Kieran Gibbs, I completely blame Son for that goal. Because yeah. when Son came on for Lamella, I mean, I watched it so many times. Ertzel had about two or three minutes to pick that pass out and Son was just like jogging. He kept, I know people say when people come Lamella, on late in the game, they're not but on But Lamella would have been there. Lamella would have been there. He would have been, I don't he think that goal would have happened. might have given a foul away, but he'd have been in his face. And a win at the Emirates is the priceless, to be honest. Exactly. And I don't think they would have scored if, if, if that happened, if, we, if Ertzel was, was manned like he should have been. And Son didn't do that. But he did come off the back of an injury. So it's like, yeah. was he match fit? Was he really in, in the mindset for the game? This is what, what we've got to think about. Fair enough. Lamella and doesn't really get injured, though. That's, this is another key thing to kind of think about. Also, does he offer sort of slightly quicker movement than Son in his passing? Mm. He's a lot of pass and move play from Lamella. Yeah. Does he, he sort of he speeds it up a bit? Yeah, he does. Is that fair to say? Yeah, he does. And, he, and, he and has... it's good to have a mix because you've got Dembele, who we all love, but yeah. like who, who slows it down intentionally. And Eric Dyer sometimes will slow it down and then it will get to Lamella and suddenly it will speed up again. Yeah. Whereas Son... I mean, it's, he does speed it up compared to them, but compared to Lamella, not quite as much. 
it's a weird one because they're they're both very dynamic. Mm. They've both got exceptional feet. Son's feet very quick, interchange the ball right or left. Lamella the same. Lamella loves that little rollover thing he does. You know, he yeah, rolls yeah, it yeah. over and then he loves that. He's he loves got his he's very tricks. he's very tricky. He's exciting. Lamella he can come up with you know a Rabona out of nowhere from twenty yards or whatever. Yeah. But I mean, Son can score Which those goals like he did against Leicester, like twenty five yeah, yards. Yeah, exactly. Out, just yeah, bang and Lamella doesn't seem to do that. Nah, he doesn't. He doesn't pull those. Out. And he, he assisted in that game against Leicester. Is it's, there it's, a case for saying that uh, Son does everything Lamella does, but he also scores? See, this is the thing. I think the only thing Lamella doesn't does do that the Son doesn't do is defend. And I mean, yeah. that's not their. At the end of the day, is that their Son role? Son does track back. To be fair to Son, he does track back and he does defend. It's just that he doesn't do it as ferociously. I think as he's. Do you, know what, do you know what's a big thing for me as well? I think Son is a much more positive player as well. Mm. He does things with a smile on his face. He never really yeah. gets angry. He, he enjoys his football. I feel like Lamella, there's a bit takes of a... Takes it seriously. Yeah, there's a bit of an angry... There's a very mm. angry side to him. Do you know what I mean? He's Absolutely, not, he's, yeah. he's, he's never really smiling. I, I, I sense a very... A tormented child inside of <laughs> Lamella a bit. Uh, whereas Son's just a smite. Like, Son's just... He's, he's a favourite yeah. as well at Spurs. Yeah, he is. He's, he's meant to be the joker in the pack, isn't he? Everyone yeah. loves him there. I mean, let's look at their fees as well. I'm not sure how relevant it is, but Son, 18 million. Lamella, 25.7. So we're looking at almost... Eight million, eight million more. Yeah. I mean, have they both been good value for their money? I mean, Son's had an instant impact in coming, whereas Lamella's, Lamella's taken taking about a little three time years. to adjust. Yeah. So it's it's an interesting one. Will Son only get better? He's adapted, but then some people will argue that you know the Italian league Roma, where they play, where uh, Lamella played, is completely different. Whereas the Bundesliga is very similar to the Premier League. Yeah. So maybe that's why. Slightly easier to adapt. Yeah. So that's always going to be quicker. But then yeah. once Lamella really fully adapts, we'll get to compare them properly. Exactly. I don't know. Have I'm we made any you. great progress in this, in I this don't discussion? Know. I, think, I mean, have we, To be we... honest, I think we, the problem is that we both agree it's good to have both of them. It's good to have the option. It's a good problem to have. It's a good problem to have. But let me ask you this, in the, on that note, yeah. where does Chadley come into all of this? Ooh, given Chadley's most recent form, who you drop it? If you're going to start Chadley, given that Poch likes to reward form, we know that he likes to reward form, right? Yeah. Chadley, with all his goals lately, right, how can you not start him? This is this is the thing. I mean, he's he's on merit alone. He should be in that team. But then, who are you going to drop? The only person, I mean, where he plays and you could drop would be Ericsson because Ericsson's been playing left, and then Nasser would just slot in on that left. He doesn't play right. I don't want to see him play on the right. Yeah. Ericsson hasn't played on the right. We've seen him play on the right previous seasons, but th this season he hasn't played on the right not once. But we can't drop Ericsson. So then, do you move Ericsson into the hole and then pull Deli Ali back, and then who do you drop? Like it starts a ripple exactly. effect. So I think, unfortunately for Chadley, it might be a case where he's Europa an impact League player and then he's an impact player in the Premier League. 60, 70th minute comes on if he can grab a goal and do a job, which he probably won't be happy about. But this is, this is what happens when you've got loads of brilliant players. Well, it was interesting when he said, he came out and said, oh yeah, I told Poch that I can fill in for Kane at striker. Well, of course, when you go, he's going to say that. It's, he's but it's, it's interesting that he's gone, no, I'm gonna, I've seen a gap. I've seen yeah. a gap in the market and I'm going to put my hat in the ring. These are all just cliches now. <laughs> <laughs> Every mountain. He's, he's, um, he's, 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 con he's, he's, right. he's I, a confident lad. I like him in that striker position. I mean, I, he wouldn't replace Kane, but uh, when, we, when we need to rest Kane for an FA Cup match or something, I think Chadley suits that striker position more than he suits left mid. Well, it's interesting because the, the manager of FC20, he was at FC, FC20 before, wasn't he? Don't crucify me. I think he was at FC20. And uh, the manager there said that uh, he has the ability to be the next Ronaldo when he was there. <laughs> <laughs> well. So, I mean, Ronaldo can play up front, he can play wing. I mean, if he, if he does bear any similarity, which I think is just crazy. That manager does, says that about everyone. <laughs> if, if he does bear any similarity to Cristiano Ronaldo, I can't say it without laughing, then maybe he could do a job up front. Yeah, I, know, I think he can do a job up front. Obviously, he's not going to replace Kane. So, still, we've got the same problem as where does he what come can into we, the squad. What can we conclude from, from this discussion about all of them? That maybe, stop suggesting stuff, we'll come up with it ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> because this has been too difficult to debate. No, thank you for your suggestion. Let us know any more suggestions you've got. Let us know what you think. Son or Lamella, do you think it's a good problem to have? Let's just put it out there. Son or Lamella, that's it. Just say, just state your reason. Oh, we want to know who you think the better player There's so why. many points, though. Yeah, who tracks just back state it. You best. tell us. Who, do they, are they completely different players? I'm starting to think they're completely different players and it's not really a comparison anymore. But who knows? Who knows? Let us know what you think in the comments. Uh, give us a like if you enjoyed this inconclusive video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV and we'll see you later. We was on fire. We've come here, Carroll Road, the Gerald Stand. All of our away fans were in unison.